in the Western Hemisphere, surrounded by the Atlantic Ocean and Dominican Republic, lies Haiti. In 1492, the Spanish throne conquered the island and called it Hispaniola. In 1697, France became the new colonist and called it San Dominique. In 1804, Haiti claimed its independence from the French and proudly became the world's first black republic. 200 years later, after a flourishing beginning, Haiti has become one of the poorest countries in the world with 80% of the population living under the poverty line. And hope still awaits in its people from the Diocese of port de Pay. Hope through its coffee beans. Eliko Bebrun is an active member of the church, father of five children and husband of Mim Elik. He leads a group of coffee growers in the town of Mawouge to revive the coffee production in the Northwest Department through the Coconut Fair Trade Coffee Cooperative. È una zona che ha produce del buon caffè e che può produrne molto di più. Quindi è, per me è un'ottima opportunità che dobbiamo sfruttare aiutando la gente a sviluppare quello che anche loro hanno già presente nella loro, nella loro prospettiva. Hope through the arts. Tata Dumasi is a woman who was abandoned by her parents at the age of six. She wakes up at five in the morning every day to feed her four children and eight-month-old baby boy, while her husband works in Port-au-Prince to sustain the family. Tata is a member of the Women Fair Trade Artisan Cooperative in Jean Ravel and expresses her past, present, and future through her art. Entonces la mujer mm, trabaja muchísimo, trabaja mucho más que el varón aquí en Haití y ella vive mm, pues cuidando a sus hijos, eh, se levanta a las 4 o las 5 de la mañana, prepara el desayuno, eh, lava a los niños, los arregla, los peina y Y se, y se manda a los niños al colegio, que procuran que no lleguen tarde, y después ella pues arregla sus cosas y se va para buscar la comida del día. Si la encuentra, pues comen a mediodía, comen a las 12, comen a la una. Si no, pues hierve algunos plátanos y eso comen. Una vida muy dura. Hope through a solar oven. School children from the remote seashore village of Bay de Hen share their daily happiness and joy while their daily meal is cooked using a solar oven. Oui, moi je pense que Haïti c'est un pays qui est capable de toucher que que mon yo qui qui pas Jean ouais et un pays Oui, je voudrais encourager les gens de l'autre bord, aux États-Unis ou bien dans les pays qui sont riches. Pour qu'ils puissent songer aux pays qui peuvent, plus songer aux pays euh, qui n'ont pas assez de possibilités pour qu'ils développent pour qu'ils puissent. Ok, donc les trois de vous pouvez dire hello ou en créole ou quelque chose comme ça. En une voix. Il y a beaucoup de choses à faire en Haïti. There is love in the hearts of the people, hope in the eyes of the people. There is so much to do. Live Haiti and be part of this Haitian dream. Blooming Hope, coming soon.